hello creative ones welcome back to my youtube channel if you are here for the first time don't forget to subscribe and if i subscribe thank you for doing that thank you all for your love and your support in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to cut and sew ready to wear clothes for kids so the material needed for this tutorial we have our scuba our vignette our sticker scissors tape we have our thread I'm going to be using my iron. We have our scissors. We have our zip. I'm not using this zip. I let's I use a short zip. Please note that. Don't use a long zip. Don't waste that zip. Go for a short zip. That kind of zip that I use for skirts, so you can get it in the market. My tape for measurements, and this is my parcel tape. You can use a paper when you want to sew it. If you don't have a sewing, if you don't have a whip whipping machine. So, I'm going to be using the first character. I'm going to be using the first one. I'm going to be cutting it out. You can use any one of your choice. You can use any one of your choice. So, the next thing we're going to be doing now is a measurement. The measurement that we need in this tutorial, we need the, full, the short length of the gown. We need, we need um, the bust. So you're going to be cutting out the neck part, and you're going to be cutting out the harmony. So you're going to, so that is what we need. So I'll be showing you the cutting now. So this kind of dress, I made this dress for my daughter. If you like this, you can just comment that you want, and I'm going to make tutorial on this. So that is my chalk. So what I'm going to be doing now is that. The measurements I use here, I use 16 inches. Then I had 2 inches to it. That my 2 inches is my sewing allowance. Yes. Let me drop it down. So you can use this pattern for 3 months to 2 years. So I, I saw this online. You can sew, just post this part. So can you see? Just look at that measurement very well. Zoom it and look at the measurements. Can you see the measurements? You can use this measurement again for three months. All you have to do is what? just reduce it. Hmm? So, this is the nice thing that we're going to be doing now. We're going to be cutting out. Use that measurement to cut it out. If you're a beginner, try to get um, a paper pattern. Yes, in my next video, if I'm working in, on my, uh, sorry, in my next video, I'm going to get you a paper, um, what what is it called? A paper measurement, or what do we call a pattern? A paper pattern, sorry, a paper pattern. So I'm going to be showing you a paper pattern. So from that paper pattern, we're going to cut it first, then before we place our material fabric on it. So. If there's an easy way for you to cut it. You can fold your fabric into four. You can fold it into two. Most of the time, I fold my fabric into two. Then I'm going to use them. Because if I, you can just have a paper paper pattern with you. So if you have many orders, don't need just be looking for uh, measurements. No, just work with that paper pattern and you just trace it out. But this one, if you have, but this one is just a ready to wear clothes for my daughter, so I'm going to be using this one to cut it out easily. So don't forget the measurement that I said. Anything, you, any measurement you are doing is going to be plus two. If it's 16 inches, just mention the the child. If it's 16 inches, plus two. If it's 15, plus two. If it's 18, plus two. So that is it. So, I'm going to be cutting this part out. I'm going to be cutting this out part. So, I'm going to be using my tailor chalk. So, I'm going to be using my tailor chalk. So, in next time, if I'm doing my video, I'm going to be using a colored one. I think I use white. So, I'm going to use a colored one. So, now, I'm going to be cutting this out. I fold it into two I fold it into two so I fold this into into two then making two that's four let's say into four 
so the next thing we're going to be doing now we're going to be cutting the neck part we're going to be cutting the uh, um, the so the sleeveless part i'm going to be using you're going to be using three inches sorry i'm going to be using five inches you can use six inches five or six inches so for the shoulder part i'm going to be using three inches because you can add to that three you can make it three and half inches because we're folding this i'm going to be folding this part so i'm going to be cutting it out this sleeve part is a sleeveless so this is that part i'm going to cut it as a sleeveless part for you and can you see how i shape it out that part i use five inches you can use five you can use six inches make sure it's not make sure that it's not tight you know it's kids <laughs> so make sure it's not tight just cut that part out so we're going to cut that part out so we're going to trace that part out trace that part out so the shoulder parts like i said earlier we're going to be using three inches just add to it so you have to hit you can make it three and a half inches or can use three inches because if if let's have for this pack it's going to be giving us two and a half inches or two inches just depend how you fold it you can use your bias to turn it you can use your bias to sew it the um the neck parts and the sleeveless parts you can use your bias so this the next thing that we're going to be doing now we're going to be we're still on the cutting so i want to show you what's on the cutting just see what i'm doing so it's just pen how it's going to be easy for you you can just cut out the body first you can shape out the body first the sh um the body first and you can make the net part it depends on how you want it so just see what i'm doing see what i'm doing so if you can use if you're beginners you can use the office pin to pin it down to pin your work down please take notes use office pin to pin your work down make sure you use pin to pin it down that is the sleeveless part five inches or six inches five inches or six inches again five inches or six inches so i'm going to be tracing out the neck part i'll trace the neck part so avoiding so that is it so the next thing we're going to be doing now we're still going to go back to the neck part i think i did the um i have some i i did i had a little break there so the neck parts like i said i'm working with two by three inches you can use two and a half by three inches but better for you to use two by three inches so that the neck is not going to be too wide you know this is a stretchy material you know scuba is very is is a stretchy material and don't forget don't use the stretching parts don't use the stretching parts can you see i am done with the cutting i am done with the cutting the gown part the gown length is 16 inches plus 2 inches that's 18 inches the sleeveless part i use 5 inches you can use 5 or 6 inches the neck part i use 2 by 3 inches please let me write it down for you so that is the measurements i use short length 16 plus 2 inches sleeveless 5 or 6 inches the neck part 2.5 by 3 inches that is it so i'm still going to shape the two side the damp part i'm going to shape it back so next we're going to be doing now this is our sticker yes 
I'm going to be using this thing. I'm going to be using hot glue. I'm oh, sorry. I'm going to be using my iron. You just place it there. I'm going to be using my iron. Make sure your iron is not too hot. So, can you see? So you just very easy. You press it till the gums comes out. The what the so just press it. See what I'm doing. You press it. It's very very easy to do. So you're going to press it. So I'm just trying to check. So I'm going to press it. So next I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove the line on out. So we are done with that part now. We are done with that part. So the next thing we are going to be doing now, we are going to be doing our sewing. We are going to be doing our sewing. And for the next part, for the next part, I bought one yard. I have one yard. So that one yard, I think it's by 60. So the longest part, just measure it from, from where the, the sticker stopped to down a little bit down yes just make sure it then you are going to cut out your net out then you're going to be doing a um what 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 do we call it a gathers or you can do a you can do a pleating small small pleating with the net so just small small pleating with the net so I have a little break there. I have a little break there. So I think I'm about to take it to the sewing machine to sew it. So that's why I'm having a little break, a little break there. So I want to go to the sewing machine to sew it. So if you are sewing, you're going to turn it. You are going to turn the inside. The inside is going to face the other part. Then you sew it down. And that is the next part that I said earlier. This is the next part. So the next part, you are going to be doing a plating. A little plating. You're going to do a little plating. So that's... Then you do a little plating. Take it to a sewing machine and you sew that part. So that part just do what I'm doing, arrange it very well and take it to a sewing machine and you sew it down. Then after you sew it down, you're going to turn it up. You're going to you're going to turn it up. Then you're going to sew it. Then you turn it back. Do you understand that part? So I'm just trying to secure that part. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to secure that part. So it's better for you to do your your sticker then you're going to do your net part before you join it. That part is very important. So what I'm going to be doing now, next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to join these two together. You can use your pin to pin it down. Then you take it to a sewing machine then going, you're going to sew it down. If you don't have a weaving machine, in a weaving machine, you don't have a weaving machine, you can just use your paper to sew it. Use your paper. See what I use. I, I normally use my paper. Then after I'm done with my work, after I'm done with my work, I'm going to pull out the paper. And this is the zip part. At the back of the cloth, just... Fix your zip there. So you are going to be placing your zip like that. Don't forget I said we are going to be using a short zip. This just go to people that go to that cellular material. Then you ask for skirt zip. This is called skirt zip. Then you are going to take it to your sewing machine. Then you are going to sew that part. 
place it very well and you're going to sew that part if your scuba is not sewing use your paper then after you're done with your work use your your hand and your needle to pull how the paper out so that your work is going to be very neat and after you are done with your sewing use your iron to iron your clothes that one is very important use your iron to iron your clothes so i'm going to be fixing the zip on it so the next thing now i'm going to be placing the next part can you see I'm going to place in the next part. Let me show you how to place the next part. I'm going to be showing placing the next part. After you are done with the plating, gathers, I don't know. How you, so you are going to sew that part just down. Then you are going to turn it back, and you turn it back. So for the sleeveless part, at the top of the sleeveless part, you are going to still, still going to use your net. I'm going to use your net the way you want if you want it to be full just do with the same the same way i made this you're going to use make that part see can you see just see then use your hand to arrange it that is it and don't forget when you're done with your work take it to your weaving machine and you weave it you can take it to people that weave clothes to help you to weave your clothes so that is the end part. So the next I'm going to be doing, I'm going to iron my work. That is the finishing part. You're going to iron your cloth. That is the finishing part. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to share. See you next time on my next.